Hey everybody, welcome back. I want to show you something. This is brand new Radioddity GD77 DMR radio. It's a pretty cool radio and I've enjoyed using it, but um, there's something about this that has me pretty much upset. In fact, I think if this radio was manufactured in the United States, it probably would have been recalled. Stick around and I'll tell you why. I put the radio back in the box that it came in so that I could show you something. But take a look here first. Nice box, nice picture on the box. And take a look at what it says here. Here's our Radioddity GD77. And the package content lists everything there. We've got the battery, the USB ba battery charger, power adapter, manual, all of the regular stuff. But look at this right here. It says one USB battery charger. A USB battery charger seems common enough and ordinary enough, but let's take a look at it. Here it is, right here. There's a cord. Set this side down here and uh, move that out of the way as well. But there's something here I want you to notice. It says, caution. This charger is for the Radioddity GD77 only, all in capital letters, or other 12 volt input devices. Okay, so let's look inside. Seems pretty ordinary enough. Looks like an ordinary USB charger, right? Wrong. That's certainly a pretty ordinary device. You take your USB cable, plug it right in there, hook the other end up to your charger. I've been around the house. I've got several of them just like it. There's one there for a Samsung phone. Here's one. There's one for my wife's iPhone. Here's another one right here. We've got them all over the place. Uh, so what's the big deal here? These guys are standard USB chargers. They put out 5 volts. That's what they're supposed to do. This guy looks like a standard USB charger. An ordinary USB plug goes right into the jack. But this is not 5 volts. Look out. This is 12 volts. Well, that's all fine and dandy if you want to charge your brand new DMR radio. but. But what about all the other devices at your house that use a USB charger? So, like, here's my HP tablet. Or how about my wife's um, Kindle Fire? Or my Kindle Paperwhite? Or what about her iPhone? Or my phone? Not only that, what about my Echo Dot? And even the camera that I'm using to film this. They all use USB chargers. Hundreds of dollars worth of equipment sitting right here. All of them would be damaged if I plugged them in to this charger. That's just plain irresponsible. It should never be in our home. I've got something I want to show you here. It's a simple electronic circuit. I wanted to do a little experiment to demonstrate something. This is a 12 volt circuit. Take a look. Right here, I have a 12 volt battery. Right now it's turned off. When I turn it on, the electricity will go through this cable here to this little jack where I've added two alligator clip leads. These leads go to this resistor. The resistor is a very common component used in a lot of electronic devices. In fact, probably every electronic device has resistors in it. Let's see what happens when I turn the power on and we run 12 volts through that resistor. I'll turn the power on. Watch. <laughs> There's a saying, you know, things stop working when you let the magic smoke out. 
Here it is one more time. Like I said before, this is irresponsible. This should be recalled. This device should never be allowed in our homes. Can you imagine a week from now, somebody plugs their iPhone into this, or a month from now, or you put it in a drawer and it's forgotten about for one year, two years, and you get it out, and you plug an expensive device into this thing, expecting it to be a five volt charger. When it's not, it's a 12 volt charger. So what are we gonna do about it? Well. I've got it in my house. I want to make sure that nothing gets plugged into this thing except for the cord that came with it. This cord. Nice thing about it is it has a barrel connector at this end, but it's got that USB connector here. So let's plug it together and let's make sure that it can't be unplugged. I just take some tape and we're going to just secure this thing so that it can't be unplugged. Not only that, but nothing else can be plugged into it. That should do it. Somebody will definitely question why I've gone to the trouble of putting that on there like that. And then I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to take this label that they gave us and I'm going to put it right here on the charger itself. Now I think this is safe. Take that, Radiotity. Should the GD77 be recalled? I don't know, it's, it's a perfectly good radio. But if you own one or you decide to buy one, you should definitely do something about that charger. I'm Bud Churchwood. Thank you for watching. And hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.